Hello, this is Bukkie Wacht, and uh, today in this video I'm going to do another unboxing. Uh, this time we'll be unboxing some figures I bought from AmiAmi.com. I'll put a link in the description to where you can find this. Um, although some of the stuff inside is no longer available because th those were pre-owned uh, items. I will explain a little bit more about that in a bit. Uh, I already removed all the documentation that's on here because, you know, it contains my address and I don't want that <laughs> going public. Um, so, uh, what about the uh, pre-owned figures is that they have a section where people from Japan can, who have, who own some figures but no longer want them, they can sell them to Army Army and they will sell them again in their store. And sometimes you can find some pretty good deals uh, on that on their section, so you should check it out. Uh, let's see, where did I have my knife or whatever what, what scissors? Where did I have them? Oh, here. Here they are. Just going to open up uh, the box. I do need to keep monitoring the camera because it it might just turn it turn off the recording, stop recording. So I need to know that. But now I'll just put that together all during editing. But yeah. Okay, so it's open. Put the scissors away. Open up the box. There's just nothing. Thank you for um, uh, your order. Blah blah blah. Nice illustrations, by the way. Um, I'm just gonna remove good stuff. Ooh, I can see good stuff. <laughs> I can see some good stuff, and some stuff I've been really wanting to have. And it was well, I was really looking forward to. Like I've been to Dokomi, uh convention, and already got some figures over there, which were which was, and those figures were totally amazing. But I was also secretly wanting these a lot. Um, Fun thing, the package actually arrived at the time I was at the convention, or at least she was scheduled for arrival at when I was at the convention, but they re-delivered it today because I wasn't home. Uh, so yeah, where shall we start? Uh, I guess I just... Um, I got some, as you can see, some Nendoroids and this one. Let's do this one first, a small one. This is actually uh, a thing from Girls and Panzer. And this is, uh, one, if you've seen the series, there's a part where they go uh, and have a battle in tanks, but they've painted them in all, like this, this uh, one was painted, uh, this 38T was painted com in shining gold. <laughs> like, amazing. Sorry, I got a little bit interrupted. But, uh, where was I? Um, yeah. So, they basically, and this is basically a small figure or model of the tank they're having. So, I'll check this out later. Uh, I'll open up them later, uh, like do an unboxing of individual figures. Uh, then we got an Android from Koichi Komeji from Toho. This one was a pre-owned figure, um, and got interrupted again. Oh well. Uh, always want to try to do something. Um, so yeah, this is a figure from Koji Komeji from the Toho project. Um, this one was indeed pre-owned, uh, which is that it was already uh, owned by someone and they kept the box, although. It does seem that the original seal is actually still intact, so I actually think this one was brand new, never opened. So I don't know how Army Army like said this one was already used or already opened. It said it on the site on the they have like these uh, gratings, and it is and it should say like 
they will decide, like, say, hey, this, it's, they, they said, yeah, it seems to be opened. Well, I don't see anything that has been opened. So, I bet, so sometimes you can get it, like, for a lower price, which is undervalued because it has never been opened. So, yeah. This one is older. Uh, this, from, this is uh, Yuyoko. Mm. And this one is an old from the older series of Nendoroids, I think. Yes, this one is from the older series, which is where I also have my uh, Sakya and uh, Same from. It's from that series of Nendoroids, I think, where they still use the old style of stands. I can't see the stand in here. Should yeah, it is in here, but it's on the bottom. I'll open this one later as well. Just gonna put it aside, not knocking over what's on my desk. And this is uh, Satori Bumeji, which is again a thing. And th this one does have like the uh, thing where they hold hands. It, I think it has, yes, it has the um, item I can see it in there where you can link them together. Basically, both figures. I will, I will do that actually because that looks pretty cool. Uh, I actually show you. This one is not in the box, but this is a sign that it's already been opened. But this is from the the Yukos from the same series as this one, which I have Sakuya from. Just with a box, and I knocked everything over, which is which is the same series where this one is from. Uh, like, do I have? Can I show the figure? Most likely. Yeah, I bought this one at Tokomi at the at the convention. This one, I got that at a convention. Is not basically not really relevant, but oh well. Um, so you're just gonna get this box out of the way. Just gonna put that over here. Put that one away. So we got this one. This one. These figures. We'll see. Maybe turn the camera a little bit like that. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, so I'm back. I had to make another cut. Uh, so yeah, let's just start with opening them. Like I'm not going to do the poses on an Android because that would make a very long video. Uh, so I will actually just take them out and just do a little overview. Uh, where does this one open? Here. I do actually always keep all the boxes of all the figures I have in case I want to, you know, sell them onward later on. It comes with this nice packing here in the packaging. Pretty nice. So, yeah, here we got, so it's actually. Oh, it has tape. On here, just fold it over, and then make sure to hold in camera. Okay, so you're just gonna remove this, and then it has small of the characters, and here this the tank itself is completely gold. As in the anime. Pretty nice, pretty nice details. Pretty good detail. Just going to put the characters in here. I'm just going to remove the plastic. On the little tiny figures, the, the details are actually very nice on these as well. And these they're very well done. Okay, so you can you get this figure like sticking out, like so.
I'm gonna take this one out. Also, this is actually the first video I'm actually shooting in 4K, so, you know, hopefully my um, computer can process that content. If not, I'll actually just scale it down to, like, default 1080p. Oh. Actually, this moves. Nice. Oh, the tracks are like real tracks. Oh, this one fell out. <laughs> it fell and it fell out again. Let me put that in. They don't snap in. This is the one thing that's like. Sometimes you have like the. You can put them in so they don't kind of fall out. In this case is not. They just all sit in there. Oh well. You can't have everything. Kind of everything, I guess. Oh well. And here you get the tank. It's pretty nice. And so I will put. I will have to find a place for this on the shelf. Uh, Might put. I might show a picture in the video uh, after afterwards of uh, them on the shelf, and I'll put some pictures in of like the entire thing. So, like I said, I'm just going to keep this package. I'm going to put this back in the box. So. check out this one from Yuko. Again, this one has still has the original seal, so I guess this one is like I don't think I don't know if you can see it, but it still has the original seal on here. As at least as far as I can tell. And I can't see any like dust on the inside or at least any any signs of like I can see anything any signs of wear on the inside, so I'm pretty <laughs> I'm pretty certain this has never been opened before. I really like Nendoids for some reason. They're just, just very nice. They're the kind of figures that come with like multiple parts. And of course this thing. Yeah, this is indeed the oldest style of stand. But <coughs> so yeah, you have like different expressions for the face and the hat, etc. Uh, I'll actually put this together later, not now. So, because it takes a lot of time to put them together. At least to do it properly, like, especially with all of these. <laughs> because just so you know, you can get a little bit of a closer look on them. Again, I will show a picture uh, in the video when I got them there finished.
just for now, so for now I'm just gonna put it back in the box and if it will go usually it should, it should just slide right back in like so and just put it here it's like a koishi and satori they're like a combo as uh, in a sense that they, like like I said, if you get both, they come with parts, so you can actually uh, connect them. I really like Koishi, by the way. She's like one of my favorite characters in the Toho project. So, next to Nitori, of course, and some others, but. I just use a scissor to cut the tape. Just too lazy. <coughs> Like so. I think I caught something at the con. <laughs> Maybe li a little bit of a cold. At least it seems like it. So again, <coughs> comes with these parts. You can, like, your closed third eye, etc. It's pretty nice. And this one is very, this one is in indeed very nice. And it and it is second hand, so but again it even its original manual still in there at the at the original position. So I again suspect this one has again never been opened. So if this one so in, if that is the case, then this one this was a pretty good deal I got. I don't know the exact price I got them for, but <laughs> It is on the invoice that's over there, but I'm not going to bother looking at it. it. Makes me sad when I do look at it. <coughs> Come on. Tough tape. Oh, I was cutting into the box a little bit there. <laughs> that's why I didn't want. Oh well. Little damage to the box doesn't hurt. At least it's in, in not in like the not aesthetic part of the box. Like this one comes with multiple parts as well. Like, and this part is like the thing where you can actually interlock both Koishi and Satori, like to make a hard sign, like described in this picture here. Pretty nice indeed. I might do something with that. Uh, I just have to see. Uh, again, I think this one. No, again, it doesn't seem like this one has been opened before either. So, for pre-owned, it's pretty good. And I do like the pre-owned section from Ami Ami, even for that reason. Like my Nitori came from there too. Okay, so what? So like this figure I got from uh, Nitori. This one came from Ami Ami too, and it's also from the pre. It was pre-owned, and again I couldn't see like anything on there that was really like that. It <coughs> was a real deal breaker. So, and I got it for a good discount. So, pretty good deal. Uh, so yeah, I guess this that's pretty much it for uh, the video. I will put some pictures after the afterwards uh, of the figures themselves uh, when they're out of the box, and um, I will try and edit the video as well today. Maybe tomorrow. I will see when I have time. So that's pretty much it.